The Green Bicycle is a 2015 novel penned by Haifa El Mansour, a Saudi Arabian author and director. Set in the early 2000s, the story revolves around Wajda, an 11-year-old girl who defies her country's strict gender norms by striving to buy a bicycle. The novel is an adaptation of El Mansour's screenplay for the movie Wajda, the first full-length film entirely shot in Saudi Arabia, although it faced restrictions on screening within the country. Within the pages of the novel, readers delve into the mind of Wajda, who resides in Riyadh with her religiously conservative yet loving parents. Outside her home, she adheres to the requirement of wearing a veil and dressing modestly, but she constantly seeks ways to rebel subtly. Hidden beneath her long dress, she wears Chuck Taylor sneakers and applies turquoise nail polish. Wajda crafts mixtapes featuring Western music and challenges the conservative teachers at her school. Her neighbor, Abdullah, is her best friend, and she ensures that he treats her as an equal, often teasing him playfully. At the beginning of the story, Abdullah proudly displays his new bicycle. Instantly, Wajda becomes determined to acquire her own bike to compete against Abdullah, and naturally, surpass him. On her way to school, she notices a bicycle shop and falls in love with a magnificent green bicycle displayed in the window. Excited, she pleads with her mother to buy it for her, only to be met with an outright refusal. Her mother firmly believes that a girl riding a bicycle would be improper, claiming it could jeopardize her virginity, and refuses to engage in further discussion. Undeterred, Wajda resolves to purchase the bike herself. However, upon entering the shop, she discovers that the bicycle costs 800 rials, approximately $200. Even this formidable obstacle fails to discourage her. Determined to save the money, she embarks on her first idea of selling mixtapes at school. Additionally, she starts braiding bracelets to sell, exploring various avenues to accumulate the required funds. Both of these activities, selling mixtapes and braiding bracelets, are forbidden, leading Wajda to encounter conflicts with her school's headmistress, a religiously conservative woman who wears luxurious Louboutin pumps. Threatened with expulsion, Wajda despairs of ever accumulating enough money to purchase the coveted bicycle. The oppressive nature of her school environment becomes apparent when the headmistress accuses two of Wajda's friends of engaging in a forbidden lesbian relationship, a baseless accusation that Wajda vehemently defends them against. Simultaneously, Wajda's mother grapples with the challenges of her daily commute. Women are not encouraged to work, leaving her with limited job options. The only available opportunity is located far away, and she lacks the means to drive herself. Consequently, she must rely on a male driver who disrespects her and often scolds her for causing him delays. One day, the driver declares he will no longer work for her, leaving Wajda's mother unable to reach her place of employment. Incensed by this injustice, Wajda recruits Abdullah to help rectify the situation. The determined duo tracks down the driver to his residence and demands that he continues working for Wajda's mother. After Abdullah threatens to involve his influential uncle, the driver reluctantly agrees. Wajda's mother faces challenges within her household as well. Since she and Wajda's father do not have a son, her paternal grandmother takes it upon herself to find a second wife for Wajda's father in the hopes of securing a grandson. Although Wajda's father loves his wife, he also desires a son and complies with his mother's quest. Furious and anxious about her position within the family, Wajda's mother takes her daughter to a store where she tries on an expensive red dress. Her plan is to wear the dress to her brother-in-law's wedding, ensuring that no other woman at the event will be able to captivate her husband's attention. Meanwhile, Wajda discovers a way to earn the money she needs for her bicycle. Her school organizes a Quranic recital competition with a cash prize of 1,000 rials, providing her with an opportunity to pursue her goal. Wajda dedicates herself to studying diligently and emerges as the winner of the Quranic recital competition. When questioned in front of the entire school about her plans for the prize money, she boldly announces her intention to purchase a bicycle. The teachers and headmistress are taken aback by her response, and the headmistress intervenes, declaring that the prize will be donated to the Palestinian cause instead. Upon learning of Wajda's victory, her parents express their congratulations. However, upon returning home, Wajda's father notices her tears and consoles her. He then requests that Wajda convey his love to her mother before he departs from the house. When her mother arrives, Wajda receives the news that her father is marrying a second wife. 
Together, mother and daughter watched the wedding ceremony unfold from the rooftop of their home. In an effort to retain her father's affection, Wajda encourages her mother to purchase the red dress, despite its expense. However, her mother reveals that she cannot afford the dress because she has spent the money on the green bicycle. In the novel's final scene, Wajda engages in a thrilling race against Abdullah on their bicycles, emerging victorious. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.